Okay, hello dear friends. So we will do some um, <clears throat> some simple exercise. It's been just too much exercise of uh, calculus. We will do this uh, hyperbola, parabola, and uh, <clears throat> quadratic, these kind of functions. Okay, so we have one problem, number one, 25. Can you see it clearly? 25 x squared minus 16 y squared minus 100 x minus 96 x minus 444 equal to 0. Okay, first we want to complete the square. 25 x squared minus 100x, put x, oh, oh, 96y, I copied it wrong, put x to the x, no matter how many um, degrees they are, minus 16y squared minus 96y, minus 444 equals 0. So this way, we know we first figure out x and then figure out y and then the rest. Okay, 25 times x squared minus 4x. Right? 25 times 4 is 100. I didn't change anything. Minus 16 y squared and this is uh, uh, plus 6y. 16 times um, times 6 is 96. Minus, minus. Uh, here we have a minus. Here we have minus. So we change the sign. Okay. Minus 444 equal to 0. 25x square minus 4x plus 4. We make it full square minus 16y square plus 6y plus 9. And then we need to take out 100 minus 100. And this one we need to add up. Add up 16 times 9. 6954. 144 minus 444 equal to 0. Okay, 25x minus 2 square minus 16y plus 3 square equal to move everything to this side. 444 minus 3 is 400. Okay, now what we do? We divide, make this part becomes 1. Make this part, make the, the, the right side of the equation becomes 1, so we need to divide 400. On the left side, on the right side, 400. So, 400, 25x minus 2 squared minus 416y plus 3 square equal to 1, right? Okay, <clears throat> now what do we do? This is 16, 1, B, uh, 16, and this one is 25. So, 4 over x minus 2 square minus 5y plus 3 square equal to 1. So what is the center of this um, of this graph? Two and negative three, two and negative three. Three, four, five, one, two, three. Two.
two and negative three. This is the center. And the graph, because x is positive, so it's something like this, right? Because here is minus sign, so it's a hyperbola, like this. And uh, four is the x radius. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I should use a graph paper. And y radius is a three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we can draw a square here. I should use graph paper. Next time I will use graph paper. And extend these two points. So When x is 0, 2, and 3, when x is 0, so x is 2, y is negative 8 x is 2 y is negative 8 x is 2 y is negative 8 or positive 2 oh yeah negative 8 one one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -mm. Why I can't draw the graph? Okay, we have figured out this viewable function. Now we try to plot it. Okay. So here we put on our graph right in the middle. It should not be right in the middle actually, but uh, doesn't hurt. So that you can see clearly x, y, so this is 0, 0, right? This is the origin, this is x, this is y. What we know, we know the center is in uh, positive 2, x equal to 2, y equal to negative 3. So 2, negative 3 is the center of this graph. And it's minus, so it's a hyperbola either this way, either this way, or this way, right? But x is positive, and y is negative sign here. So we know it's such kind of graph. Okay, so positive 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, negative 3, So this is the center of it. And we know the radius on x is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 三, 四, 五, so here, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the radius. And uh, the y radius is 5. 
one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can draw a square here. I learned it myself, so it might not be as smart as your teacher tells you. Okay. We draw the square here and we draw this line and it extends to infinity. This is asymptote. This is the asymptote. I should use a longer ruler. Too lazy to get one. It I can do it, don't worry. Can you see it? I think you can see it. Think. So, the top point, when x equal to positive, um, when x equal to positive, two y equal to When x is equal positive to y equal to negative y equal to positive two. Okay, what I'm talking about when x equal to positive two and this will become zero. Zero minus a certain number become one and this will be positive number so it's not possible, right? So <clears throat> this one we can make it into a uh, zero. So y is um, mm, negative three. When y is negative three, x is positive, uh, positive six and negative 2. So here is, this is the extremity of, uh, on the right side, and this is the extremity on the left side, and it po approach to the asymptote, oh, 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 closer and closer and closer, and on this side it close to asymptote, closer, 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 closer. So this is a graph of this function. So this is the graph. I use a brighter color. Do I have? I do not. Okay, I use a marker. Let's use a marker. Oh, 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 oh do not touch. It's not my problem. This marker is too, too thick. Okay, so this is the graph of uh, of the function we have uh, we have figured out. Thank you very much. It's very confusing. I know it makes you more confusing. I'm sorry for this. I do this video is for you to teach me, not for you to learn from me. If you want to learn from me, you are wrong. Bye-bye, <laughs> friends.